the UK's busiest service station has a serious problem. Cobham Services on the M25 sees close to 10 million visitors every year. It's right between Gatwick and Heathrow, which in turn serve 120 million. Cobham has restaurants, shops, EV chargers, a hotel, all of which require lots and lots of expensive electricity from the grid. In fact, this one service station uses the same amount of electricity in a year as 360 houses. That's what we're here to solve. Spirit Energy is installing 810 solar panels on the roof. The panels are going to cut costs, help the site go green, protect it against rising electricity bills and generate a great investment return. So why has Cobham Service Station decided that solar is a good investment? And what are the practicalities of installing a solar system on a public building like a service station? How disruptive is it? And how do you safely get 20 tonnes of metal and 800 solar panels up to the roof without disrupting the general public? To start with, actually the same solar design principles apply with huge industrial roofs like this as apply with much smaller systems like you might install on your house. And as a matter of fact, we installed these exact panels on a roof down the road yesterday. In principle, solar systems are actually very simple and every system can be broken down into two key components and some wiring. Obviously, you have the solar panels, which generate the electricity. And then you have something called the inverter, which all the panels connect into. Inverters do two things. They're the brain of the solar system and they also convert the DC current generated by the panels into AC current that we use in buildings in the UK. Installing solar is all about maximizing the roof space. There's a great economy of scale with solar systems and with large buildings like Cobham Service Station, the more panels, the better the investment return. That's because solar panels themselves are pretty cheap relative to the labor and the scaffolding. So really, you want to cram as many panels on as you possibly can so as to generate as much electricity as possible. The second component I spoke about, the inverter, is just sized relative to the solar system. Knowing how many panels you can actually squeeze on is another challenge. With houses and standard rectangular buildings, you can easily measure the roof from drawings and satellite images. But Cobham's roof is more complex and it's harder to calculate the surface area. That's because it's curved and an odd shape. So we actually organized for a drone to go round the building to survey and measure the whole roof accurately. Getting the best investment return from a commercial solar system, well actually any solar system, is all about getting as much power out of the roof space as possible. And a key factor to that is using the most cost effective and efficient panels available at the time. So now you've designed the system, how do you actually plan for the installation so that it's done safely and quickly in a high traffic public building like Cobham Services. Well, the first thing we did was actually put the scaff up at midnight so that we're not disrupting millions of people on the way to work in the morning trying to get a coffee. The other thing we did was put this big thing behind me, the scaffolding loading bay, round the back of the service station in the yard so that we can safely lift 800 panels and 20 tons of metal to the roof without getting in the way and disrupting the operations out the front of the service station. The yard that the scaffolding is in is essentially the center point of the logistics for the entire service station, almost like the nerve center, if you will. The deliveries for the McDonald's, the Nando's, the Pizza Express, they all flow through here. We have to coordinate lifting 800 panels and 20 tons of metal to the roof with a telehandler and make sure that we don't get in the way of the deliveries that are powering the businesses that are here day to day. From a project management perspective, the key deadline is booking in the switchover well in advance. Basically, we have to temporarily disconnect the electricity supply so that we can connect up the solar install. Obviously, this is a service station with customers 24 seven. So the power off has been booked in months beforehand and scheduled for a time just after midnight when the data shows the station is least busy. So how does the actual install work? The roof is only 12 years old. That's quite new for a roof. So we don't want to damage it. Does solar damage the roof? And how do you install rigid solar panels on a curved roof? So this system works on this roof, 
by clamping onto the seams. There's no screws, no penetrations. It's fully waterproof. There's never any issues. There's just two bolts either side. And then the panels rest on top and we get them nice and straight and going to clamp down onto our U support. The fact the roof is curved actually doesn't make as big a difference as you might think. The curve is shallow enough so the panels can be installed flat to the roof without any flexing or damage. So that's fine. What is important though is installing the panels as quickly as possible to minimise disruption to the service station. And in order to do that our guys have been working from 7am to 7pm. 12 hour days and as a result the installation has happened twice as quickly as we expected. Spirit Energy has been installing solar panels since 2010. All of our work is done in-house and that gives us complete control over the entire installation. In fact we're so confident in our work that we've left this camera up for the past month recording absolutely everything that we're doing. So why has the UK's busiest service station chosen to install solar panels? Well, solar primarily saves money by offsetting electricity bills. By providing buildings with free electricity, the landlord or tenant is saving by literally not having to buy that electricity. The 810 solar panels are expected to knock nearly £80,000 off the electricity bill in the first year alone. As electricity gets more expensive, the amount of money the system saves each year will increase. The investment should have paid for itself within four years. However, it will continue to operate for over 30 years, providing the site with completely free electricity. By installing solar, Cobham Service Station is protected against rising electricity prices that are harming so many other businesses. In the first 20 years, the solar should save over £2 million in total, representing a total investment return of 625%. It's expected to generate 305,000 kilowatt hours every year, which is enough to meet the equivalent electricity demand of nearly 90 households. There are also countless other benefits, including environmental ones. The solar should offset over 68,000 kilos of CO2 every year, enough to offset the carbon footprint of over 380,000 car miles every year. And it goes a long way to helping Cobham Service Station meet ESG goals. This solar installation is on track to reduce Cobham's electricity bill by around 25%. But how could the service station go further to cut bills and emissions? Well, solar panels generate over 60% of electricity in the spring and summer. And of course, the sun only shines during the day. So something that can help to plug the gap is battery storage. To go one step further, Cobham Services could install a large battery system that charges up from cheap electricity overnight and then powers the services with that cheaper electricity during the day. The battery could also charge up with excess solar generation and then feed free electricity into the building when the sun goes down. Another thing they could do is install more solar. Currently, we're only installing on the main service station roof, but there's a whole hotel roof which isn't covered with any solar panels. Maybe that will come in a potential phase two in the future. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe to learn more about solar and to see more videos like this. And if you're interested in solar for your home or business, please get in touch with Spirit Energy and we'll give you a free quotation that is tailored to your needs and that maximizes the return that you can get from your roof space.